actually works a lot better. Just trying to redesign this character. Hmm. Not bad. Give him a new belly button. Alright, I think I can color him. I should get some I should give him some bottom teeth too, actually. So let me try to clone these. up and down, let's see. Oh yeah. Uh, don't do this to me again. Local.
Man. So it has to be on the x-axis, I think I get it now. I'm going to be almost hidden. Just a little, just a little taste of Teefy's in there. What's up, Fort? Good morning. I have plenty of stuff that I should be doing today. I actually went to sleep really, really late. Um, well, early this morning. Because I was working on this little guy. I just get so obsessed. But I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't stream it. Sometimes I just... When it's already late, I'm just like, oh, if I stream, I know that I'll just stay up later than I'm already staying up late. But, why is it so, like, it almost feels like there's a, there's a dark color to the bottom of this. Let me turn it off. Yeah, that should probably help. Turn all of this off. Should have done that a long, a while ago, actually. Obsessed with smooth meshes. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what it is about streaming that makes me have to clear my throat. But it never fails. I want to try not to remesh this. Or not to voxel remesh it. Because although that does allow me to get very clean smoothing, I don't want to have to re-smooth the whole thing.
Actually, don't mind his little chin there. Let me draw some pink on his ears. <clears throat> Asia, what's up? How you guys doing? I hope everyone is feeling good today. might try to keep this dream short so I can go do take care of some stuff that I have to do that I don't want to do I have to go pick up some batteries and switch out one of the big five gallon water jugs all I want to do is stay here and do this work on this Ooh, hot chocolate. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you know what? I should leave Gizmo Edit on, maybe. Maybe that would help me. Help me keep my... Okay, so I want his little ears. Oh, these have to be... These have to be subdivided badly. That's better. So I'm not, not clear, but better. Now I did do this guy before, but I just wanted to re recolor him. I wanted to remodel him and recolor him. Because this is one of the first, like, cool models that I made, which is my, my little character. But he just needed to be remodeled. Let me save this one. I think I can open the previous one. I think it'll just auto open. Yeah, just auto the auto save. I probably should have like made a copy, but that's okay. More, we'll go back to this one. You know what? And since this one is. Let's see if I can import. Add to scene. I might be able to add. Add it back from here. Finally put my other iPad up here. <clears throat> Cause I've been trying to transfer over. What's up? I'm just trying to give you a kiss. That's fine. This one actually does look quite cute. He does look like a cutie. <laughs> so 
I'll show you the original one from my old iPad. So this is the original one. He does look quite cute, but there's just some issues. Let me see if I can flatten him. Eyeball. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Oh, his teeth. Okay, so... hide these and I'll <coughs> excuse me I'll save this selection only I'll name this old Horus Okay, so now we have the old one, and we have the new one. I want to bring the other model into this so I can put them next to each other. Import a new file. So these are the two. And they look quite similar, but there's just there's a lot of differences. Head size, ears. So we'll see. Hopefully this one will be cuter. That's always my main objective. Let me see if I can cheat these. I'm really trying to make it so he's looking at camera. <laughs> well, thank you. <coughs> well, we all start. <coughs> we all start. We're all on the journey. I've been on the journey for a long, long time, but it's just being obsessed and sticking with it, and they'll just get better and better. You know, that's that's the fun part. Um, and sometimes it takes a while. You know, even for me, it's still sometimes certain things just take a while. But you know, with practice, as long as you keep going, you you'll get there for sure. Okay, that looks more like he's looking at camera. And it is a little weird because the pupils are off. <coughs> They're off center. But I gotta find a mute button. I have to figure it, I have to work that out. 
I mean, I guess I could just hit the mute thing, but I don't know, that t takes so long to get to it and find it. Okay, so now I just have to color this guy in. I'm going to keep the nose. I think the nose looks good. Well, I can probably put it, pull it out a little bit, though. It's actually very useful pulling the other model in. Because then I can see the things that I actually like and want to keep. I wonder if I pulled in an older model. Or if I moved the nose, because for some reason this model, the nose was far down and I had to move it back up. And I honestly could probably move it up a little bit more. I really don't want to do that, but... Let's let's go ahead and check it out. And I, I wish that I could put things together and move them all together, but obviously I can't do that. I feel like I'm on the wrong. I feel like this is not going to work. Let's see. It works okay. I'll just undo this if it doesn't really look right. But I have to see all the elements together in order to know. Tongue. Oops. Bottom teeth. I think that looks better. I do have some issues with like this whole thing here. Like there's just something that it's not quite right to me, but I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, let's do some recoloring. I'm looking forward to that. I can probably steal his color. Nice and rough. Oh, you know what? Let me add a new layer to the lids. I want to add new layers. I want to always be able to alter the colors and, and the strength of the colors and things like that. So I'm trying to remember to add new layers to everything I do. Because when I do when I did the turtle, I accidentally did some of the paint on the base layer, so then it just was hard to rework. I couldn't really re rework it. All right, that looks pretty good. Let me get rid of this gizmo. I feel like it could be actually be darker. That's a good color for the... Eye color. So maybe I just need to test it out first. I might need to subdivide this, which is going to be huge. 
because the coloring doesn't look. Let me make it smaller and just see how. Oh, that's right. That's quite clear. That looks pretty clear, actually. Oh, this mesh is so big, though. So let me see if I can. If I remesh this. It does take, uh, and then it really, it really makes it look bad. Can I decimate it? I just wanna, oh, that's pretty good. I just wanna bring this count down. These actually looks that actually looks terrible. Couldn't see it before, but I can see it now. I'm pretty sure that this is voxel merged together. Tube. little details like that that I like to I like to clean up but sometimes it's just not worth it okay I give up trying try to get behind there what is that what up starlight Hope you're feeling well. Welcome. I think I probably should have, uh, ooh. Oh wait, I don't, I didn't mean to use, I didn't mean to use crease, I don't think, but well, maybe I did mean to use crease. Pinch. Why is crease working better than pinch? What does pinch do in this situation? That's what I want to know. I would just leave it alone. It's one thing that always bugs me is like is this. I think I should have I should have um, I should have subdivided this way way more. I mean that's the only thing that I can imagine why that happens. So I definitely need to practice that. I mean, it's look, it doesn't look bad, but maybe I can turn on, let's see, smooth shading. See if that does anything. Nah. Let me see if I can subdivide it now. It is a little cleaner, but I don't know if it's worth the numbers. Oh well, we'll just leave it. <clears throat> I need to get to coloring. So that actually looks quite good. So the only thing I want to see, make sure of, if I want to subdivide this. then it would be even cleaner 
But I don't think it's enough to really notice. That's too big of a jump in numbers. And I might be able to bring some of these together. That might bring down some of the numbers. So let's try the tube and the lids. Try simple merging them. I don't know if that's a great idea, but these numbers are wild. Okay, so his his markings. Oh, let's see if I can remember. Oh, I can just look at him. That's right. So it's clean up here. down here oh I hate when the paint doesn't go on fully Killing me, paint. Killing me. That's okay. I guess I need to clean it up anyway. some of this What are you up to, Starlight? How's your day going? Or evening? Oh, I need to eat food, too. Sumni hasn't been around to remind me to eat. Just in case, people always like wonder what animal this is. So this is the animal that this character is based off of. So you can kind of see where I've where I've sort of gotten, uh, so you can sort of see where I've kind of gotten the ideas. You know, from the markings. And obviously I, I've caricaturized it, but but you kind of see where I get where I get the ideas. Obviously I've made them cute and things like that, but
but it's a slow loris. Everyone just thinks he's a cat. Which is fine, but he's he's actually not a cat. <laughs> but I get it. It's just one of those animals that I like, and you never really hear much about. some of this there we go erase some of this too annoying when sometimes the symmetry is off. It's not, it's not helpful. But it happens. But another reason this symmetry is probably off is because when I was originally designing this character, I wasn't really well adept at the symmetry tools and all of that stuff, so it makes sense that he's not going to be like perfect, perfectly symmetrical. Although I, I, I'm very, I feel like I did a pretty good job on him. Um, knowing what I did at the time. But now I've been really trying to keep that symmetry until I want to make him asymmetrical because it just makes everything so much easier when you don't have to go to the other side and draw just on the other side I kinda wanna make this like I don't wanna make keep them hard lines but I just hate that they're like a little bit jaggedy and I don't think smooth shading has anything to do with it and uh... off on no nothing I think I want to put it up, take it a little bit off of his nose. It's a bit awkward to draw. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, come on. Man, I hate that. Anytime I rest my hand on the screen, ugh, it's really, really annoying. And the problem is I, I use, I do touch, so I can't just turn touch off oh I'm actually pretty happy with that <laughs> I feel like this looks whiter it was originally whiter but I don't know why it would be showing now. So when I recolor the whole thing. Okay, so eye color. Why does that say eye color? Oh, okay. So on top of this, 
So I'm gonna make a new layer. I'll name it Snoot Color, so I don't get it confused with his actual iris color. What's up, Kareem? Good to see you. I'm just reworking this old, older character. Um, I had to decimate him a lot, and that's why he looks like garbage here, but lots of differences, you know, it's really interesting to see the, the, um, how I design, how I design things differently. I need to push this, I need to push that in a little bit. I just feel like his mouth is a little, well, that's not even working. So we're going to have to clay sub subtract it. Okay, let me smooth this. Smooth this out here so his mouth isn't all wrinkly inside. Okay, that looks that looks a lot better. So for his snout, oh no, I did all of that on. So I think I can bring this down, and then merge it, because I want that to be part of the base, since I didn't actually add any color. So now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that again, snoot color. That's sometimes where I get messed up when I do other things on a layer, and everything will save on that layer and not just the coloring, which is what I want. Yeah, this is definitely a different color. Hmm. So I'll make it a lot brighter so we can see the, the difference. I'll make sure I'm on the right layer, yep. Oops. Make sure I'm on the right layer. And it's actually okay. It's a little it's looking a little bright. But that's alright because I can always um I can always lower the opacity on the layer. Which is another reason why it's it's great to work in layers. subdivide him. I wonder if there's a way that I can... You stroke alpha, you stroke fall off. Let me just see if this makes any difference. No. I just want to make sure there's no, um, nothing that I'm doing here that could potentially, hmm, what that does. I mean, it looks a little, it looks a little more blurry, actually. So I don't think it helps me at all.
try a couple things here and there. No, okay, so I think it's, I think it's just the, uh, see any, any differences but I wanted to check that out so it's definitely just the the mesh I don't think there's any, any way around that let me erase some of this Oh, is it not symmetry? Bro. not perfect so it feels a little big I think oh shit not on symmetry And feel free to hit like if you guys want. Hook a brother up with some likes. Make it seem like I actually have something interesting going on here. Although, really just farting around. This looks all right. And maybe at the end I'll remesh this, but not now. So I want this to be the same color as his body. So I'll add a layer his body okay and I should begin I should put it up a little Is that pretty much what I had subdivide this god this mesh is so big I might be able to 
get the number count down a little bit lower. Once I just finish this coloring, that's cute. Okay, so So let's see if I can actually mesh these together now. I'm curious if I can mesh them together and then still blend them without it blending the color. So arm, right arm, left arm. Oh, I thought these were already merged. I guess I was messing with the arms. So we have our arms here. Let's see if that dropped it at all. Let's see if the legs are separate. No, the legs are together. So let me color in. Let's see how color sits on them. Oh, that's pretty clear. So I'm gonna make a new layer. Arm colors. I don't know if I'm going to use the same color. And this is just for the back of his elbows. He has these little elbow patches. I forgot that I made this coloring on the back of him. So it's a very light brown. Maybe something like this. Yeah, that looks good. We'll take symmetry off. This is a circle around his little elbows. So nothing too fancy. And then the same thing with the legs. So let me make a new layer. Let's see how this goes on. Not bad. quite blurry hmm you don't really notice it but I should probably just subdivide the legs so I'm gonna delete this subdivide the legs a lot cleaner. Good. Okay, so now we'll go back to this white. Just add that to his hands.
Yeah, I always learn a lot from uh, re from re from working on older working on older projects. Even when it comes to like drawing, I just I learn so much from figuring out how to fix things that I've already done. Or just kind of like cementing how I would do them differently. As you, as I've learned more more skills. Cause even with this app it's like night and day how far I've come. God, the neighbors. I'm happy with that. Cause I can always make it. I can always do this. So now I just lower the. I just lower it. And I'll do the same thing with the body. I just lower it so it so it's not so harsh. Good. I kind of want to switch the nose color. I want to give him a little bit of a, 
a little bit of a gloss. And I should actually um, just kind of make his nose a little less. I do miss peace and quiet. Oh good, they didn't slam the door. Good, we're doing good. Okay, so I want to add some texture to this nose. I want to make it a little bumpy nose. That would be perfect. I might have to subdivide it. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, well, now he's back in the backyard yelling, as usual. It looks good. Okay, so on this layer, I can probably color inside of his mouth as well on the eye color layer. But you know what? Yeah, no, I'll leave it. We shouldn't make a new layer. Oh god, now they're running around yelling. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. Just erase that. I feel like I should probably make it darker. <sighs> I don't know. First off, we want no glisten in there, so I need to get rid of this. I need to do a dark color and no glisten. So this rough needs to, need to be all the way up, almost unlit. Is that look? 
That looks better. Actually, I can put this underneath and then not have to worry about it. I don't know if I want it underneath. Shit. Well, that's right. I lowered the opacity. Hmm. That's right, I forgot about that, so I'll leave it on top. So I probably should have just gone with making the color instead of lowering the opacity. But that's okay. So I might have to move the teeth back because I think I want this to be like that. I think that looks better. Or even further down. So let me just move these teeth back. That way I can... Symmetry off and clean this dumpster fire up. Race. My stomach's making noises now. I if I should go ahead and try to smudge this. smudge is not working the way I want it to work. So I'll just erase some more. Okay. some I'll add some uh, thanks art time appreciate you welcome 
think I'll add some eyes, and then I'll think I'll take a break and go get some some food. Cause I I've been learning that I need to I need to actually eat, or else I don't feel well. Um, so we'll just name this Iris. That way I can get rid of it easily if I want. So we'll go with a yellow and he kind of has like a light more canary bright yellow eyes kind of like that yeah so let's just color in this eye make sure I'm on the right layer make sure I'm in the paint tool make sure I'm not on a race There's always so many things to be weary of. And I guess we'll try to do it around the outer edge first. I don't really like doing the eyes this way, but I haven't been able to come up with a better way to do the eyes so that they look good from multiple angles. Unfortunately. So, this is how we have to do it for now. I also wish that the eyes, the eye was like a crisp, like hard surface instead of this like sort of jagged edge, but I think I should have, uh, I think next time I'll need to really, really subdivide it and I guess get the numbers really high before I do the voxel merge thing where it where it cuts out the it cuts out the shape you know to make the concave iris that I'm painting in now I just used another sphere and I voxel merged so that it would extract that second sphere leaving this concave iris section Uh, see, this is why I don't like it. So I'm probably going to have to do a lot of erasing. Because this just makes it really hard to... I really don't want to subdivide it again. The... I'm just going to erase it and be happy for now. Also, I'm noticing this paint... I feel like it's not going on as strongly as I want it to. So basically, I did all that line work around the edge and now I'm defeating the purpose of it because I'm using this fat brush that's going outside of the lines. So I'm going to have to go back and erase them anyway. Like a proper dum-dum. Look at that. The idea of painting in Procreate is cool, but it just didn't work out as... Oh, come on, come on. Layer lock would be awesome. Is there a way to lock a layer? No, I don't see. That would be awesome. That's the, I don't know what that is. Well, I guess that's the cheek. Oh, 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Besides just making a bunch of noise, huh? So I'll just get rid of some of this. Oh man, I'm not symmetried. So it's not doing it for the other one. Tricky, man, always getting me. It's always something. Always something. I want to do this, but I don't want to actually mess up the outside of the cheek, so I got to be careful. Okay, that's good. So that's the eyelid. So that's actually good. Clean much cleaner okay so now I can go back to the eye go back to paint color that in and now I have to erase I'll make this really small I just have to erase this yellow fall off. Hopefully it's not erasing from the other side. It tends to do that sometimes. I think I'm going to make a video on how working in 3D has actually greatly improved my 2D artwork because forces me to think in 3D. So it's actually really great to draw and then bring the character over and make it in 3D because it forces you to really think outside of the two-dimensional realm which uh, helps your 2D work. It's just like a, it's just like a you have like another eye where you're able to see in a different way and it really really helps okay I'm pretty happy with this so far I'm not that crazy about the ears, but I have to do something about the ears. Let's do a nice... Let me turn off ambient occlusion. Turn on depth of field. We just need a nice... Uh, Nice, uh, what is it called? Thumbnail. Also, I added my I added my last thing to to my uh, what's it called? Wallpaper, which I love doing. Okay, so I need to go to camera. Sixteen nine. That looks good. Okay, so now I can just now I can give this a little, give this video a, uh, a thumbnail. All right, so I'll finish up this guy a little bit later. Um, maybe even during the day, but if not, maybe around eleven or eleven thirty, I'll uh, I'll work on this. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting.
Um, thank you all. Hit like. Subscribe. You can hit the bell. That way you, you know if you like these live videos. Hit the bell. It'll let you know when I'm going to be live. And um, I'm on Instagram at Drug Free Dave. You can join my Procreate Facebook group. Um, I'm on TikTok, Drug Free Dave. Skillshare classes are available. I don't have any Nomad classes, but I think I might make one really rudimentary uh, course just on like the basics and make something really cute. I think that's a really great idea. Maybe I'll start that today. Mm, I don't know. But anyway, um, I think that's a good place to end it. Thanks so much for watching. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.